Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is an Amazon fashion try on haul and I'm really excited to share what I found recently on Amazon. I have some really pretty finds for the upcoming spring and summer season or if you're heading somewhere warm for vacation, I have some great picks for you in today's video. And I also wanted to step into my closet and go through and pull out some of my favorites that I may have shared the last couple of years or maybe last year and give you a wear update and let you know if I would still recommend them. So kind of a mix of some old and new pieces from Amazon. As always, everything will be linked down below and I'll also link my Amazon storefront at the top of the description box. If you wanna see anything that I've been buying on Amazon, I save it all there and I have been making some very random Amazon purchases. So I definitely need to do an updated Kind of Amazon favorites video. So let me know if you want to see that next, but let's get into the try on. All right, first let's talk about the dress that I'm currently wearing. This is a new find from Amazon and I really like the print. I feel like Amazon prints can get very busy, very colorful. And in my wardrobe, I would say I stick to pretty simple prints and neutrals and soft pastel colors. So I was really excited to find this print because it's really pretty. It has sort of like a grayed purple, I would say it's still neutral, with a white or cream kind of leafy print. And then the base color is a great neutral color. I will say the quality of this piece is pretty typical for what I see at Amazon. It is pretty affordable on there. There's no lining and it's not see-through, but I don't know if I would trust it out and about. So I personally would wear a nude slip underneath. I'll link the one that I have down below. I would just do like a slip skirt. You don't have to do a full on slip, but just to have that extra precaution because it does feel very thin. Although again, in this lighting, it doesn't look see-through, but better safe than sorry. And there is also no tag on the dress, which I feel like just overall cheapens it a little bit because you don't know what the front or the back is. So for a piece like this with this material, often what I find with Amazon pieces are just loose threads all throughout and I typically have to go in and cut those out, but this one didn't have any loose threads or anything like that. So at least there's that as far as presentation goes when you open it up. I am wearing my normal size small and the dress, it has a very forgiving fit. I could have either done a small or a medium and I feel like either would have been great. This one is bump friendly, but if you're further along, it will get a little bit short in the front. So that's the only thing that I would call out about that, but it's definitely flowy, bump friendly. And I am wearing a regular bra with this as far as straps and I just kind of tuck them under. But if I was wearing this out, I would probably just play it safe and wear a strapless bra or a sticky bra just so I didn't have to worry about my bra strap showing. The bra that I have on does have a thicker strap, so maybe something thinner wouldn't be as difficult, um, but just wanted to mention that. And it's also showing a little bit through here. So it does sit a little bit wider on the shoulders. And then I paired this look with these neutral sandals. These are such a great look for less to Dolce Vita sandals and they feel super comfortable great price point from Target. So definitely recommend if you're looking for a heeled sandal. I wear these a ton throughout the spring and summer and even into the fall season. They're a really great affordable wedding guest shoe if you have a more casual wedding. Love the block heel because they're easy to walk in. These do run true to size. I would say if you're in between sizes, you could size down. And if you do prefer off the shoulder silhouettes, you can definitely pull this sleeve off the shoulder. It has good elastic on the top of the strap. So either way it would work. All right, next is this gingham midi dress, and this one's really comfortable. It is lined underneath as well. I do love the lighter beige and white color, but they do have multiple options to choose from. I am wearing a size small. I would say it's true to size. If you do have more broad shoulders, I would recommend to size up. It does seem to be a little bit narrow in the shoulder. Um, I love the little smocking on the sleeve because you could wear it down if you want or pull it up to make it more relaxed feeling. This is definitely a dress that you can make work in your work wardrobe. I feel like this would be such a good teacher dress. All right, this next dress I styled for a business casual work look. Um, I think this would again be another great teacher dress, really comfortable. I'm not the biggest fan of the color that I picked. I felt like it was going to be a little bit more of like a little bit more of a brown undertone than it, it's showing here. It definitely is pulling more of a red, which like a ready orange, and I just, I'm not drawn to that color. So 
Um, personally, I'll be returning this one, but I'm gonna look and see what other colors it does come in. So I styled it with a fitted denim jacket with dresses this length. I feel like it looks better and more balanced with a jacket that's either cropped or more fitted. I didn't want anything to come down too low, um, like with blazers and things like that. I just felt like it would have added a lot of bulk to my body frame. So kept it with something a little more fitted. This denim jacket I have had for years and years from Old Navy. Um, it's a true like denim. There's not a ton of stretch to it. I'm, they might actually still carry it, um, but if they don't, I'll link their current selection down below. And here is how the dress looks without the jacket on. So it's smocked with a V-neck neckline and then sort of like a fluttery ruffle sleeve. I do like that it has a little bit more coverage on the sleeve, but the ruffles will kind of move around. I am wearing a medium in this one, and I'm definitely glad I went with a medium. So I would say this one runs a little bit smaller. So if you're in between, I would definitely recommend a size up. It does come with pockets. It's not lined, but it is a thicker material. All right, next from Amazon is the scalloped tennis dress, and I was so excited for this because I love anything with a scallop detail. I do love some elements to it, so it has a good built-in sports bra and it does feel really supportive and I also love that the shorts are actually separate so it makes going to the bathroom so much easier and I love that you have that option. It's definitely on the shorter side so I would 100% recommend to wear the shorts because it does seem to feel a little short in the back but unfortunately for me this tennis dress is just not doing me any favors because it is too long in the waist. I have a really short torso so what happens if the waist just doesn't fit correctly a lot of times is it causes it to roll up because the waistband is kind of sitting higher and that also makes it shorter as well. So um, it's kind of rolling through here and it needs to be sitting a little bit lower. So if you have a short waist, keep that in mind. Or if you have a longer waist, this would probably be a great option for you. So I shared this dress, I want to say last February. So I've had it for about a year now. I think it comes in three different colors. They're all great neutrals. I think this is the color bisque. And this is just such an effortless dress. Throw it on, be super comfortable, wear it with sandals. You could of course dress it up with a heeled sandal if you want to for like dinner time. It's a great vacation dress. It has pockets and I really like the silhouette. It fits nicely, has a little bit thicker straps. The top sits flat against my chest. It comes with pockets. It definitely needs a good steam, but other than that, it's held up great in the wash and I still plan to wear it this upcoming season as well. So with this dress, I definitely wear it just casual and comfy, usually with sandals. I do prefer a strapless bra when I do wear this dress just because it sits a little bit more comfortably across the chest. Sometimes if something feels a little too tight with a regular bra, I end up switching it out for a strapless bra and it just fits much more comfortably. The straps are adjustable. They have, I think, two or three other buttons in the back, um, which I like. It doesn't have like a bra strap kind of adjuster, so it just sits nice and smoothly. And I also wanted to share these sandals with y'all. Olakai sent these to me. I did like a TikTok for them. Um, so I have worked with them, but they don't know I'm posting about them here on my YouTube channel. But I did want to share them in case you're looking for really comfortable sandals. These are by far probably the most comfortable sandals that I have tried. Really easy to slip on. And again, they're just very comfortable. They do have a little bit of arch support. So I personally haven't heard of Olakai before, so I just wanted to share it with y'all in case you haven't either. Um, this dress I've actually had for a couple years. I want to say I got this in 2018, 2019, and I have still kept it from all of my closet clear outs because it's such a good event dress. Like if you need an affordable wedding guest dress, I feel like this one is so pretty. It comes in up multiple colors. I really like the tiered effect, but it does have a closer fit, so it doesn't add a ton of bulk to you. And I also really like the pleats. They're tighter on the top, and then they kind of get a little more dispersed along the bottom of each tier, and I just feel like it has some really nice texture to it. I am wearing my normal size small. It does have a pretty forgiving fit. Um, the shoulders are very stretchy. And I did wear this, I think, eight months pregnant it was probably the last time that I wore this. So it is definitely bump friendly as well. So if you're looking for an affordable wedding guest dress, I highly recommend this one. And then these shoes are also something that I've had in my wardrobe for the last year. And if you watched any of my Amazon videos or any of my spring and summer 
videos. These shoes I think were in every single one because they're so versatile. I love the strappy strap across the foot. They have, I think, 30 different color options. I love the white. I also have the brown studs. Um, these are also a great wedding guest shoe that's also on the affordable side. They do have a blocked heel, but it's a bit more modern of a cut. So it's wide, but not as thick. So you aren't gonna sink in the grass and they are very comfortable as well. These do run very true to size. If you're between sizes, I would go with your size down. I have had this swim cover up for two years now. I wore it on my baby moon in 2021 and I actually don't think I even wore it last year because we didn't go on any sort of resort vacation or anything. Um, but it's just really comfortable. It does button down all the way so you could wear it closed. I just have it belted and kind of worn open. It is another one that will need a really good steamer. I even kind of got lazy on the steaming and it looks a little wrinkled on this side, um, but it is really comfortable. Has a little slit on the side and I love that it has like full kind of arm protection if you just need a break from the sun. Underneath, I threw on this really cute swimsuit from Pink Lily. It has this little belt on the waist, which is really cute. I am wearing a size medium. Um, I think the bow ties came undone. I need to tie those, but it has little ties, like faux ties on the shoulder. Um, and I would say it has good coverage as well. It does dip down a little bit low in the front and back, but nothing too crazy. And it does have pretty good booty coverage as well. This swimsuit isn't full coverage, but it does have pretty good coverage in the back. I think this is another piece that I shared last February and I love how crisp and white this is and all the ruffle details. I always get asked about this top when I wear it. Um, it is another one that needs a really good steamer. If you need a good steamer, I'll link my favorites down below. I have a good standalone steamer if you have like a big job and then if you just want an easy handheld one or even a travel steamer, I have a good recommendation for you. I'll link both down below. And then, this trench coat, I think it was in the same video again, so I've had it about a year and I love how loose and relaxed this trench looks. I typically style it with like white jeans or just really casually and it has the perfect amount of kind of flowiness to it. It's not like a stiff trench coat. I'm definitely a little bit softer does run really oversized, so I size down to an extra small in mine. Let me know what you thought of me integrating some kind of old and new pieces, if you'd like me to continue doing that, or maybe I should just do another kind of dedicated Amazon Where Are They Now kind of review or something. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on that down in the comments below. I will see y'all on Sunday with a weekly vlog, and I'm pretty sure the new house tour will be in that video, so stay tuned for that, and I will see you then. Bye!